this black mamba it was caught during this week close to halls eh? the Altmar. Uh, Altmar. Oh, Altmar, Altmar area Dane went out caught it under your washing machine and it's in a bag <laughs> We're going to do everything we do as far as our research project goes. So we're going to weigh it, sex it, measure it, insert a microchip if it doesn't already have a microchip. Uh, we'll also test for that with a scanner and put it back in the bag, give him back to Dane so he can release it again. The information we get on that chip only really comes, we, don't, we only learn anything if we recapture that snake. The chip doesn't allow you to follow it with telemetry. Snake, then we can say because we've taken all the original information if we catch it again let's say a year later we can see in that year how much has he grown how much weight has it put on has it changed from a male to a female these things can happen <laughs> how far has it moved where was it now recaught from where we had released it so all those gps points and everything are taken so all that information when we sit with and we try and as humanly possible, try and be as smart as we think we are, and, and figure out a little bit more about what these snakes are doing, where are they going, why are they doing it, how fast do they grow, etc. etc. Okay, we don't really know much about them at this stage, and so this project that is on the go is just helping us a little bit with that respect. So, let's just let's also be very careful when you've got snakes in bags, venomous snakes in bags, they can bite through the bag, so keep our fingers very far away from that sharp end there, and this thing just says hello, uh, there you go. I have five. Mm -hmm. I have five. Let's just reset it, I don't want to get a false positive. Is that not a standard post office bag? <laughs> okay, here we go. 1.27 kilograms with the bag. We're going to minus the bag off just now. Nice. Oh, it's just going to be a bit of a bit of a bit the nice thing about a mamba in a bag is they don't generally <coughs> jump out. Except when you got them like that by the head. About a 1.5er? No, about a 1.8 meter snake. Just try and get him, you know, be as gentle as we can with the snake. It really looks like he's going ballistic. This is just the sort of natural way these snakes move. Okay, he's, he's looking at me now. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And I think this sort of relates to why some people are so afraid of this snake. Is if you just look at the response of this moving my head, you see that twitching. Okay, this is extreme, extreme response to any movement, and that freaks people out. I can understand that. Other snakes have a general sort of slowish, sluggish reaction to movement where these guys are just super, super sensitive. Okay, and that, that bothers people, that freaks people out, and that's understandable, okay. However, if you know that the snake is going to do that, and if you understand its natural behavior better, this sort of thing shouldn't freak you out, okay. Because now you expect him to do that. You expect him to sort of have all this twitching, twitching. Okay, you see that? So let's get his head in this pipe here. Uh, we swap hands. <laughs> so what we're going to do first is we're going to scan this snake to see maybe he's already got a chip. Okay, definitely not. And then, Mara, just bring me that moon bag there quickly. Yeah, when we started the project, we started with one set of chips. Now we've got another set of chips. So we've got two systems, which is a problem. We've got, got both scanners, so it is possible to get 
get information, that's it. goes in the same place, right hand side of the body, take the tail folded once over like that, just right hand side of the spine, in the muscle, injection, there you go, the chip's in there, put it back, test if the chip is working, there we go, chip is working, we get a reading, so we're in the mix. Then, just to see if it's male or female, must you come closer? You're right there. Okay, we look, here's the cloaca of the snake there. Tracker? Yeah, that's all. What we do is we stick this probe gently into the cloaca, down towards the tip of the tail. And it has already gone that deep. We do know definitely that's a male. He stores his hemipenises in the tail, left and right side of the tail. So it's a male. Let's get a measurement. I think we'll use this as a marker. This is a marker. I'll put his head there, okay? I'll play some guru music here with a concertina. I'm going to really stretch him to get a approximately maximum length. Yes, you know. Okay. How fast can we get suck? Just gotta measure this bag again. On its own. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 2.38 meters. Yeah. 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 Good. Now we're going to get him back into this bag. Wait, wait, wait. It's actually the easiest part of the operation. And then we do also do the vent to tail length. I've seen you how film with the the mamba beer. Yeah, I'm going Ability, ability to turn in your hand. He knows where you want to grab it and he tries and forces himself in the opposite direction. It's quite interesting. Uh, Mike, you want to quickly come closer for a photo? What I'd like, can you put him like behind it, in front of a tree there? Possible. Because the background's going to look nice and grey there. 